Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a grocery haul. Done those before many times, but today it's a grocery haul from Trader Joe's. I go once every month, once every couple months with a friend. We kind of make a little outing of it. We have a good time. Um, it's a small haul, but I got a few interesting items that I wanted to share with you. So I hope you stick around. So as I mentioned, this isn't a very big haul, but I thought it would be fun just to share it with you. Um, I've never done a haul for Trader Joe's before on my channel, so I just thought I'd give it a try today and show you a few new items that I've never tried and a couple of the staples that I always buy. We're going to start with the produce. So this is butter lettuce, as you can see. I like to buy this, and I'll use this in two salads because it doesn't last very long they don't always have it but they had it today so i'm going to i have a salad made for today already but i will use it for tomorrow and probably the next day for a salad and my favorite english cucumbers they are so much cheaper there and so much bigger and fresher um, i don't go to trader joe's very often it's not too close to my house but when i do i always get the cucumber and this is a little something new. These are teeny tiny tomatoes, and they literally are teeny tiny. <laughs> I needed some tomatoes, so I wanted to give these a try. It's not a very big portion. I probably could use it for maybe three salads, but I'm sure they're delicious and I wanted to try them. And then I think that's actually all the produce I got. I don't typically buy produce at Trader Joe's, just these couple of things typically. Um, so yeah, I did buy myself some flowers. They have beautiful flowers there. I was hoping they had tulips, but they only had tulips in um, a pot to grow, and I wanted just cut tulips, so I opted for the sunflowers. They are really pretty. And then over here, I bought this one other time. It's farro, and in the summer, I like to make farro salad, and this is a quick one. It's pre-cooked a little bit, so it only takes 10 minutes. Normally, farro takes a really long time to cook, so I like to have this for the summer or the warmer months. And then over here, oh, let me just tell you the nutrition on this. <laughs> Almost forgot. So let's see. Oh my goodness, it's all crinkly. It's 170 calories per serving. The serving is a quarter cup dry. And definitely not a low carb item, I'm sure, but it has 32 net carbs and five grams of protein. So there you go. And then chomps. I know everyone on social media talks about these. I tried one and I didn't really care for it, but it's been probably a year or two since I've tried it. So I just wanted to give this one a try. Again, my friend was buying one for her grandson, so I thought I'd give it a try. Let me look at the nutrition. Oh my goodness, it's small. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in there a little bit. No. Okay. And I apologize if it's shaky. I'm going to try to read this. I have to bring it a little bit closer. So let's see. It is, one stick is 100 calories, that's not too bad, 7 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, and zero total carbs. So I thought this would be fun for a little snack if I needed some extra protein, maybe on a snack plate. So yeah. And then this I buy probably every other time I go, not every time because there's four. So I usually just make two at a time, um, one for me and one for my husband. And it's the cheddar, the unexpected cheddar chicken sausage. Really, really delicious. Not so great on the calories. Let's see, 160 calories for one link. Total fat is nine grams and three. <laughs> Three net carb, yeah, three carbs total, and 16 protein. Yeah, you guys probably can see that a little better than me. So yeah, I like these once in a while. 
And then two of my favorite. I buy these all the time. They are not cheap, but they're much cheaper than like Starbucks and they taste really, really good. So let me show you. There's a little bit of a glare. This one is the cheese spinach and kale. This is actually my favorite out of the two. And let me show you what the macros are. The macros are, so for two, it's 150 calories, eight grams of fat, seven carbs total, and 12 grams of protein. I usually, like if I'm kind of in a rush one morning, I'll have this with maybe some turkey sausage um, and some coffee. That makes a total meal for me, and they're really delicious. And these are the cheddar cheese and uncured bacon. Again, really delicious easy. So this one's higher in calories. I knew that, but I like it anyway. 240 calories for two, and it is six total carbs and 16 grams of protein. How much fat? It is 16 grams of fat. So yeah, I'll keep them in my fridge. Just like I said, if I'm in a rush one morning and I can't make my quesadilla, I will have this with some turkey sausage and some coffee. And then swinging over here, this is a new item. I know I've seen a lot of people haul these, um, and I wanted to just give them a try. They're really thin, square rice cakes. Not the hugest fan of rice cakes, but I thought I could use it for avocado toast once in a while. It's got decent amount of macros, so for six pieces, I mean, that's that's a lot. Six pieces of this, I probably would only use two or three, but for six of them, it's 110 calories. I think that's pretty good. And 22 net carbs, three grams of protein, and one gram of fat. So yeah, we'll give that a try. Like I said, I'm thinking avocado toast or maybe even my cottage cheese toast that I like to make. There you go. This one is not a new item. I've bought it before. I like the flavor of it. It's not too spicy. It has maybe just a little hint of spice. It's the chili lime seasoning. It, for me, their spices are a little bit of a hit and miss uh, or hit or miss. <laughs> But um, this one I really like. I, this is a repeat buy for me. Okay, next up is some shredded cheese. I don't know what it is about this cheese. I love it. It comes in a bigger container than what I buy at my store. It lasts a long time. It's light and it's lower in calories. So for a quarter of a cup, it's only 60 calories, three carbs, seven grams of protein, and two grams of total fat. I don't know. There's something about this cheese. I can't explain it, um, but I love it. So I bought that. And then I've shown the cauliflower crust pizza on my channel before, and I just thought I'd show you what it looks like in the package. So there's two of these, and it is it's flavored. It's not just cauliflower. I believe it has cheese in the ingredients. It's really good. The macros are okay. Um, for one crust, it's 120 calories, six total fat, three net carbs, and 10 grams of protein. And they're just for a quick lunch. Obviously, I got some cheese. I do have a little bit of turkey pepperoni. Um, sometimes I just use tomato sauce out of a can and just kind of spice it up because I don't use that much of it on the pizza. Um, sometimes I have that squeezable pizza sauce, but I don't have any. Right now, it, it winds up going to waste. I don't use it enough, so I stopped buying it. But yeah, so pizza is in my future for lunch. <laughs> and then the real reason I even went there, I needed some more of the peanut butter. I happen to love this peanut butter. It's not sweet. It's perfect with apples. So let's go through the macros. I don't think there's anything special about it except that it has no sugar in it. Um, I just happen to like this one. So for two tablespoons, it's 180 calories. Looks like 15 total fat. Sorry. Uh, so there's four net carbs and eight grams of protein. So definitely a favorite. And I have probably a half a bag of apples in my 
refrigerator right now. So I can't wait to have that maybe tonight after dinner. And then I guess if you know, you know, everybody likes these Bear Bells. I do too. I just, usually I buy one of each flavor. It's like four or five flavors. Today I just wanted to buy um, two. These are probably the two flavors I like the most, but I love all of them. So these are the Caramel Cashew. So let me see what we have here. So one bar is 200 calories. That's kind of high for me. Um, eight total fat. It does have 20 grams of protein and 15 net carbs. So that's a once in a while thing, definitely. This is the salty peanut one. Same amount of calories, 200. Eight grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, and 15 net carbs. Again, just a once in a while thing. I was finding that I was really eating too many. I was eating them almost every day. It's a lot of calories, and we know even though it has protein, it really is a glorified candy bar that I think should be enjoyed once in a while. So there you have it. Okay, another brand new item. I've seen this before, but I've never bought it. And I'm realizing, I hope it's not too spicy, <laughs> but I thought my husband might enjoy this and I'll try a little bit of it. It's corn and chili tomato-less salsa. It just looked really good. So let's see what the macros are. Ooh, not gonna focus for us here. Two tablespoons is 40 calories. It is zero fat. It's nine total carbs and one gram of protein. Like I said, I just really wanted to try it. Two tablespoons for 40 calories, I didn't think was so bad. So we'll see how that and tastes. And another new item. I must have been on a corn kick. <laughs> but um, I am going to make tacos this week, which I really never make. I just kind of wanted to change it up. I'm going to make it with turkey meat. Um, and I needed to have something on the side. Of course, we might have the corn salsa. But also, just as a side, I thought this would be really good. I know it's a starchy vegetable, but, you know, you got to change it up once in a while. So I might jazz this up and add some more um, vegetables to it because it's really just corn. Can you see that? That's the only ingredient. So for two-thirds of a cup, it's 110 calories. It is 2.5 grams of fat. It is uh, 15 net carbs and three grams of protein. So it's essentially just roasted corn, but it looked really good and it's frozen. So I'll just take out whatever we need for the, the dinner and put it back in the freezer. Another one of those things I think everybody buys if they eat chicken um, when they go to Trader Joe's, the mandarin orange chicken. This is a little bit of a splurge. I will count all the macros, calories, all of that into my day. So I know I'm still in my calorie deficit, but of course it's high in carbs and probably sugar and calories. But once in a while, I just buy one bag. I used to buy multiple bags. <laughs> I just buy one bag. And for those nights, maybe on a Sunday when we don't have a plan for dinner, I can just take this out and make it. And it's so delicious. So let's look at those macros, which I know are not that great, but let's see. So for one cup, it is 320 calories, 16 grams of total fat, 23 net carbs, and 21 grams of protein. So again, not the best macros, but what I do with this is I serve it with a half a cup of brown rice. I add green onion and I do add some kind of vegetable, usually broccoli, occasionally some edamame or whatever vegetables I have. I've done it with cabbage, that's really good too. So there's no vegetables in this, it just shows the green onion, but there are no green onions in it. Just the chicken and the sauce. So yeah, so that was my small little Trader Joe's haul. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, it was something a little different. I can't wait to make these items and maybe you got some ideas if you're going to go to your Trader Joe's, what you can get while you're there and make meals out of. So if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, 
give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Have a great day.